Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang and the guys over from PGY Tech has sent me over their brand new uh, OneMo2 backpack to review. Now, everything I'm gonna be telling about is based on my honest opinion. And uh, this thing comes into two different colors. It comes in space black, as well as this gray camouflage, which I really, really like. And it does come with two different sizes. Pictured, or like right here, we have the 25 liter size, which expands up to about 33 liters. And they also have a 35 liter size, which expands up to 45 liters. So I will have to say that this 25 liter backpack is already fairly large uh, and it does fit, you know, my uh, Canon EOS R5 with the larger RF lenses into it. So I feel like this size is perfect and sufficient for me when I want to carry larger amounts of gear. So in this video, I will be showing you guys different uh, configurations if you're using the Canon RF system or if you're using a Sony system. So uh, stay tuned for that a little bit later on in the video. But before that, let's dive into all of the features. It does come with this side bag as well, but let's talk about you know the main guy first before we kind of dive into that. So material, it does have this kind of rubbery type of material. So when it is raining, uh, you really don't want to have to worry about it. And it does have like these weatherproof zippers. Um, but if it's complete downpour, it also comes with a uh, weatherproof uh, rain sleeve as well. On the front, it does have these kind of like uh, lash points right here. So you, if you needed to hook any accessories, you could on either side. Um, at the very top, it does have, it's kind of like peak design uh, in the sense that it has these kind of little loops, which you can hook your, their accessory straps onto it and you can strap on other things like your jacket or tripod or things like that. So let's talk about this front expandable uh, compartment first. This is kind of like where you put your accessories in as well as like your gimbal, jacket, things like that. So as you can tell, it's in its compressed state. And the good thing about it is that even though if you have stuff in there, it can stay in its compressed state. And it only really needs to expand if you're putting larger things in there like your gimbal um, or a really big jacket, things like that. But if you're having a smaller jacket, um, and just like your laptop charger and things like that, then you're totally fine. So let's kind of open her up first. So there's that first exterior zipper and there's also an internal zipper as well. So as you can tell, it will expand in, in this kind of like upside down V shape. And uh, the great thing about it is that you don't need to open it up all the way to access your contents. So there is this interior zipper. When you open it up, and uh, you can still access your stuff just like that. You don't need to zip up your interior zipper. So if I just wanted to close up the exterior zipper for quick access, you can totally do that. Right, and so you can kind of open it up and you can still have quick access to your um, accessories. Now, if you wanted to open it up completely, you totally can. So you just kind of open up that exterior zipper all the way and it kind of expands from at the bottom as well. So as you can tell just right now, um, but you, also, you still have the interior zipper. So the interior zipper is still kind of there, but then you can open it up all the way and it kind of opens up kind of like a, a, la a suitcase style. So on, on this one side, you have this uh, zipper, a pocket right here. It kind of goes in till about right here, but it's uh, pretty good. Uh, that's where you have your rain sleeve as well as your accessory straps uh, in there. On this other side, there are two expandable stretch pockets. So that's perfect for your laptop charger, tools, um, hard drive, anything like that. Um, it's not padded, but you can just put it in there. Uh, and it has this large, expandable, stretchy pocket. Um, and again, you can just kind of put everything in there, uh, but it's kind of, it's got this gimbal symbol. So you, you, you know, if you wanted to put your gimbal, you can kind of put all the, your entire gimbal in here and kind of keep it in this expanded state. Okay, so let's see how this gimbal will fit in here um, with the plate attached. So it's kind of like an awkward fit, but let's see how it goes. So first of all, let's undo the foot right here and let's kind of slide it straight into the pocket like so. So it actually fits pretty good. However, one thing is if you're gonna leave that uh, plate on here, uh, the quick release plate, it does add some depth. Now it is kind of awkward. I'll put this in here to just slide it in beside. But when I try and zip it up, I'm only gonna do the exterior zipper right now. Let's see if we can kind of zip it up. Ooh. Now, it's not gonna to wanna to zip up, unfortunately. So 
one thing to note is if you are going to be putting on um, your gimbal, you will have to remove that quick release plate uh, in order it, for it to kind of fit in here, which kind of makes sense because it's kind of very, very thick and awkward as you can kind of tell um, with that, you know, that plate right on here. Now looking at the bottom, uh, it is a different material on this bottom. It's a little bit more rugged, which is great um, because you're always constantly selling this bag on the ground. And I really, really like this feature. It also has these accessory uh, latch points as well. Uh, again, for if you want to hook on your tripod or a jacket or something onto the bottom, you can totally do that. Moving on to this one side right here, you have an accessory pocket at the very, very top. And uh, yeah, it's, it kind of opens up in this kind of manner. Uh, it's a little bit kind of difficult, but it's only good for like thinner-ish items. Like you can put a multi-tool in here, no problem, lens cap, but it's not like a big pocket or anything like that. Um, and one thing to note is that whenever I open this, it always gets caught on this accessory strap right here or accessory loop. Um, so you just have to be mindful that you got to kind of like move it to the side when you're opening and closing. Uh, it also has an expandable uh, large water bottle pocket, which is great. And it has like, you know, it, it comes with an accessory strap already on here. Uh, so again, you can kind of put like a tripod in here and you kind of strap it on here, or you can strap it to the very, very top right here, uh, up to you. Now let's move to the opposite side of the bag. So this is where you have your quick access uh, compartments. You got two, which is great. I love it. One thing to note though, is you do access it on your right side of the body. So similar to how Shimoda does their quick access, they have it on the right side. My personal preference would be to access it on my left side of the body. Um, but again, th that's just all personal preference. Uh, one great thing about it is that it does have these kind of uh, a locking zippers right now. So you can feed the zipper through this loop. Uh, that's just great for anti-theft um, purposes. But when you kind of open up that top area, you have access to, um, you know, one of your compartments right here. Uh, you can put a lens in here. You can divide up into two smaller areas and you do have a zippered pocket right here if you want to put your lens cap or anything like that. On the bottom, it is slightly larger than the top side. And this is kind of where you would have your quick access for your camera. So again, you know, a nice big space for you kind of grab your hand into. And it does have this zippered pocket on this one side. And the cool thing about this is it has this um, uh, this battery compartment. You can put three batteries in there and it has this little toggle switch so that, you know, red means it's empty, green means it's full. Now let's talk about the back side of the bag. So at the very top, we have a nice wide and beefy uh, top handle. I like it. No changes to that. Um, it does have these uh, load lifter straps to kind of take that, bring that weight of the bag closer to your body. Um, and the straps are nice, beefy, wide, and pretty comfortable. I really, really like them. Um, and uh, also on the straps, they are a little bit wider, which is great. And the great thing about this uh, one side is that it has an accessory pocket, an elastic kind of neoprene uh, elastic stretchy pocket. And the great thing about it is that you can actually fit a uh, regular iPhone or like an iPhone 13 Pro uh, into it. Not the max version, but just like the standard size version and it fits perfectly right here. So, uh, and it, the great thing about it is that when you put these straps on, they don't look beefy or, or too large or anything like that. So I really like the design of these straps. Uh, it also has a sternum strap. Now the sternum strap, I'm not like, they, they kind of still done, did the peak design thing where you kind of have to look down and you have to latch it on. I, I, I'm really just a fan of just the standard, just the click. So uh, the snap buckle design, because you don't have to look down. You could literally just, you know, snap it into place. However, with this kind of latch system, you got to unhook it and you got you to gotta find your other, your, your latch point. Um, and then you got to hook in, into this in the place. So that's kind of, you know, an extra step and it's not as fast and as efficient as just a regular snap buckle design. It also has a nice wide thick webbing right here. And this is if you wanted to attach an accessory uh, for quick access, uh, you can totally attach it there. It also has a vertical or a horizontal one right here as well. Moving on to the buckle. Um, this one has a regular snap buckle, which I really like. And I wish they just did, did, did the same thing for the sternum strap. Um, but yeah, I mean, it has a removable uh, waist, waistband uh, if you wanted to. Um, but I don't like the waist belts. Uh, I just I never use it because I'm not really hiking. Uh, so I love the option that you can remove it. 
And now let's talk about the back panel right here. In the middle, it has a large uh, luggage pass-through um, strap, or you can you know double up by just by using it as a carry handle. Um, and on the back, I mean, if you look at the side and the profile, it's got some really, really good cushioning as well as some air mesh for ventilation. And the lumbar support is great is um, from the bottom here. It's just a little bit bigger than, than the back support right here. Uh, and that's great. So overall, the comfort of this bag is still is very good and I really enjoyed it. Um, also on this one side, there is an extra grab handle right here. So if you wanted to carry it on its side, you can do that. And now let's dive into the main part of the backpack, which is the camera compartment. Boom. So let's talk about this top side first. Uh, right now up here, they have a laptop. Uh, so you can fit, you know, a full 16 inch uh, laptop in this top part, as well as it has a front sleeve padded as well, where you can put your tablet and I really like this design because it's very, very simple. It just has a simple elastic and a little latch right here. So you can just kind of uh, very, very quickly uh, and inefficiently just kind of, you know, secure your laptop so it doesn't fall out. Now, <clears throat> onto this side right here. Uh, this is like kind of like where your main camera compartment uh, is. I also really like the depth because you can stand up, you know, like a standard zoom lens in there uh, without it protruding so much. For example, here is a Canon 24 to 70 RF lens with the front and the back uh, caps attached and it fits perfectly. Um, it doesn't protrude out or anything like that. This is six inches in depth and this is kind of like a, a, a perfect backpack system if you're using the pro lenses like this or if you had like the Sigma 24 to 74 um, Sony or some of the Sony, larger Sony G Master lenses, uh, this backpack is gonna be great. So now let's look, look at different configurations uh, when you're using this bag. All right guys, so right now we're gonna do a pack out with my Canon RF system. Uh, right here, I have my Canon R5 with a 28 to 70 F2 attached uh, with a battery grip and that fits in perfectly right there. Um, over here, I just have a bunch of smaller accessories. I have the new PJY Tech, uh, the, the mini tech pouch right here. Um, and then I got uh, a Canon RF 15 to 35 lens, a 70 to 200 f2.8 lens, a 50 millimeter 1.2 lens, and I have a speed light right here. Okay, so right now I'm gonna be doing a pack out with my Sony system. So overall, Sony is a little bit smaller, so you're gonna have definitely a lot more room to play with. Um, so right here, um, I have my Sony a7R5 with the battery grip attached. And look, it doesn't fill up the space. Like, I still have a little bit of room and extra room to play with. So that's there, that will go there. Um, on this pocket right here, I have a 135 millimeter uh, f1.8 lens right there. I still have that mini tech pouch right here. Uh, on this top compartment right here, I have a 70 to 200 F4. I have a um, 14 millimeter prime lens, as well as a 35 millimeter prime lens. And I have just a, uh, you know, random space for accessories such as my speed light uh, blower and lens cloth. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the side bag right here. Uh, so you can actually put this straight in here and it's great because when you're traveling, you can arrive at your destination, leave your backpack behind and just grab this bag and go essentially. So <clears throat> this little side bag, accessory bag, it does come with a, an accessory strap, which is great because it has, it's nicely padded and this can, um, has two attachment points. So at the very top right here, it's got these two loops right here. If you attach a strap there, then it becomes a shoulder bag. Uh, or if you attach the straps onto the side, it does become a waist bag. Um, so yeah, quite versatile. Now let's talk about all of the features. In terms of material, it's identical to the backpack, the, uh, the zippers, as well as just the material. Uh, it's pretty well made. And at the very top, there is an accessory zippered pocket. This would be great if you had passport, thinner items, uh, or your, even your phone. At the back, there is an accessory strap grab handle, so you can easily grab the bag and pick it up. And uh, let's open the bag up to show you what's inside. So when you open it up, there are these two kind of elastic pouches right in here. So if you had uh, camera batteries or smaller accessories like that, that will go well up there. And when you're looking right here, 
uh, it's meant for a kind of like a top loading way so you can have your camera in here uh, and it has room on either side for additional lenses or anything else right here. Now, if you're concerned that like, let's say you're bringing a slight a camera with a slightly longer lens, like a 24 to 70 or something like that. It, the cool thing is this actually uh, can expand. It's got a zipper and you can unzip it all the way and it pops up vertically and you get some vertical space into this bag. So now your bag is just, oh, I didn't zip, unzip it all the way. Hold on, there we go. And now this is probably a good one, two, maybe even two and a half inches higher. And so if you did have, uh, again, a larger camera with a, a, or longer lens or something like that, that is gonna fit. So this pouch, pretty versatile. So overall, this backpack is fantastic. If you're a working professional that needs to carry larger uh, lenses, such as the Canon RF uh, lenses or the Sony G Master lenses, or if you're a hybrid shooter or a videographer and you need to carry a gimbal, um, this backpack is gonna be for you. This is kind of geared for that working professional uh, as well as travelers as well. It's, it's a great travel size and I really like that expandability option um, if you're just going around to places and you need to, you need to, you know, just carry more stuff with you, uh, this backpack's great. Also that uh, having that uh, side bag or as well, the accessory bag, it's like an added bonus. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this video and you wanna see me do more of these, please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.